Hello, welcome to another session on AWS Real Time Scenarios. My name is Ravi and I'm an AWS Certified Professional. Today I'm going to show you how to connect to an EC2 machine when it's lost its key pair. So let's get started. So for this, I have created two EC2 machines in which one of them has lost its key. Two EC2 machines over here that you see have two different key pairs. When I launched it, if you see here, these are two different key pairs, but I have lost this key pair. And now I have to connect to this EC2 machine using SSH protocol. So let's see how we're gonna do this. For this, firstly, I need to stop this server and then I have to attach the root volume of this server to another server and this is a server which is something very similar to this machine i'm going to use the same ama of what this has been used so whenever an ec2 machine loses a key pair you have to create another ec2 machine which is something similar to it and generate it with a new key pair and we're going to use this key pair to connect to this ec2 machine let's see how it's going to be done so click on this EC2 machine where you have lost your key pair and then stop this EC2 machine. And this is the root volume that it is having. Once it stops, I'll be opening this up in another tab. What is the volume that it is using? It is using volume CDBCD. So click on volumes on the left hand side menu. So I did name these volumes. Now if you see, this is the volume that the EC2 machine which has lost its key is being using. So let me check if it is stopped. Yes, it is. So I'm gonna attach this. Firstly, I'm gonna detach it with this EC2. And now I need it attaching it with the server which I have the key pair. So I'll be leaving this for now like this. So now, to see when I did connect it to this server, I now connected to this my recovery server with the key pair that I have it already. And I did run this command where it will show me the disks that have been attached to this. Now if I run this, now you could see earlier it was having only one which is of a 12 GB. Now I do have a 12 GB and I have attached the other root volume of another EC2 machine that is a 10 GB. Now it has got two disks attached to the recovery EC2 machine where I have the key pair. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we will create a mount point. To create a mount point on your recovery machine, just say mkdr p and you just give a folder where you can mount your disk. So now that I have created a folder, which is a directory called mount space. And then now I'm gonna create a mount point at this space. To do that, you just need to say mount hyphen O UID. And this is the disk space, isn't it? So copy this. F2 is my disks. F2 
and copy it to this space. Right. Say enter. Now, if you check the disk, this is being mounted. So the space which you have been created is been mounted. Now, this is of 10 GB. Okay. So what I have to do now is I have to copy this mount space, the authorized keys to the root volume of the machine where the keys have been lost. So to do that, just need to run this command cat and go to where your authorized keys are being placed in your current recovery machine. Authorized keys, this is where it locates and now you just copy those keys to the root volume which you just mounted. Mount space, home, EC2 user, authorized keys. So what I'm doing is, what are the key pair that is there in my current recovery mission? I'm copying those keys onto the root volume of this machine, which is now connected to this EC2 machine. So now say enter. Okay, now you just unmount it. So now if you say LSBLK, you got two disks. I'm going to unmount it because I have copied the authorized keys of this machine into this root volume. Let me unmount it. To do that, you mount is a command. And what is this space that you have mounted? Enter. Now if you say just df hyphen h, now you just have one disk. If we just say ls plk, right. Now what I'm going to do, since I have copied those authorized keys, now I'm going to detach it from this machine. and attach back to my EC2 machine where I have lost the keys. Okay, so I'm gonna rename this to SDA1 to make that as a primary disk for that machine on server. So I attached it. So I have detached it from this machine and then attached back to my original machine. Now if you say this, we should be seeing only one disk space that is of 12 GB. This is your recovery estimation, right? Now let me go back. Now my root volume is being attached back to this. So I'll start this server now. It's initialized so that I can connect. Now, if you go and check, I have attached my root volume back again to this EC2 machine by copying the keys of this EC2 machine to the wall root volume of this machine. Okay, now this is my public IP. Copy it and then go and connect. Now you have to give the key pair of the recovery machine. So the key pair recovery dot m now if you go and see, so Q 
key pair recovery dot pem. I'm giving the key pair of my second machine because I have copied these key pair to this root volume. Okay. Let me go back. Let's see, okay. All right, so we have connected now. Now you see the 10 GB disk is been connected to my new restarted machine where I have lost the keys. I am now able to connect with the key pair of the other machine. Hope you like the video. See you in our next video.